Good morning! We're up early. Decided to go to the thrift store when it opened so we could beat everybody. We're getting a little crazy, I know. So, sporting the mask today. Be safe. We'll see if we find anything good. Wells 03, thanks for joining me. I've returned from the thrift store, so you saw a little bit of footage. Um, I'm from Montana, so you will usually see trees or mountains when I'm showing the drive. And so today we went to Goodwill, my husband and I. It was 50% off women's clothing because of the Black Friday week. And so usually my Goodwill does not have any sales. It does not have dollar days or anything like that. So we uh, tried to take advantage of that, hoping we'd find some good things for a little bit cheaper. Uh, so we found a few good things. And uh, so I'll show you that. Um, again, I, I don't know if you've watched any uh, resellers on YouTube from Montana, but if you have, I would like to know about them. So if you want to... Uh, comment below if you've watched any. I know I have a few friends that resell here in my area and I don't think they do YouTube that I know of. I in fact just saw one at Goodwill which was really funny. I just told her I'd found a couple pairs of figs last week and she said oh I found two tops of figs so we actually found the matching set but uh, separately so that really stinks. Anyways, that was kind of funny. So anyways, I'll go ahead and get into my thrift haul, what I found, and maybe give you a little information why I picked it up, if I can remember. So um, my husband was actually with me, so he always checks out the men's. Men's was not on sale, but he found one item that we enjoy picking up, and it is the brand Icebreaker. So they make merino wool, um, sporting goods or um, for outdoor skiing and um, very nice quality. I found a woman's piece earlier um, like three weeks ago and sold that really fast and I have one in my closet now so hopefully this one does good as well. And then I just I kind of have my stuff in the bag still since I just got home so it's not organized. Um, so my next brand I found was STS Sell to Sable. I've never picked this up before, um, but it's brand new with tags and someone had picked it up from TJ Maxx and never wore it. So it's just a little summer dress, has a contrast zipper on the back. It did seem like there was quite a few of these on Poshmark, um, so I'm not sure how that will do. Let me know if you pick this brand up. Alright, the next dress is a brand Ruli. I think I'm saying that right. I have worn this brand. I like it. They have nice modest and cute dresses. Um, and I've sold quite a few of the things I've had in my closet. They seem to sell well on Poshmark, some for a good amount, some for not very much. But didn't want to pass that up. Cute top or cute dress. And then found a couple Athleta dresses. So this is, one is a size large striped gray and dark gray so I like picking up Athleta I usually do when I find it if it's in good condition and um, so pick that up I think I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like that off to the side a little bit it's kind of cute and then uh, this was the other Athleta dress this one was obviously marked to not return it to the store. Um, 
another one with a cute top cross top on it just gray so I like athletic I don't I oops. <laughs> I like athleta uh, I don't know if you enjoy picking that up uh, what brands like athletic brands that do best for you uh, but I seem to find a lot of athleta in my area and I have sold some newer pieces so we hope these ones sell as well the next one was um, weekend at Max Mara I know I've heard other resellers talk about this brand I've never picked it up myself so not sure how it will do but it's beautiful blouse with um, lots of detail and so I don't know would you pick that up let me know okay and the next one I found was um, a brand that I've always wanted to pick up in fact I almost bought this exact piece on Poshmark Poshmark I think last year um, it's show me your moo moo so like I said my friend was there also at the thrift store and uh, she was a little jealous that I found this first so cute piece I don't know if I'll keep it for myself maybe we'll see if it sells first um, not sure it's in really good condition if you've had good success selling this let me know you can comment below all right and the next dress that I found was Nanette Lepore so I know that um, these a lot of times you can find retail arbitrage this um, was 138 brand new uh, but I picked it up because it's a larger size 20 W and um, it's cute and new with tags I know there's quite a few on Poshmark and not sure if they sell what they're worth but I thought I'd give it a try so I think they're beautiful dresses okay so now I went through the short section preparing for summer already because of course everyone's looking for the winter things and found maybe some vintage items you'll have to let me know if they're vintage <laughs> um, first of all found some mountain hardware size 8 uh, hiking shorts so I haven't picked up too much mountain hardware um, hopefully those sell well and I got a few things for myself for camping season next year some cute camping lake um, pajama shorts from soft sensations and I did get a match or not a matching top but a top to go with it but I'll have to see where that is all right the next top is Ella Moss and just really good condition top I thought was really cute um, and I think they go for maybe 25 20 on Poshmark so pick that up it's nice lined underneath as well it's really sad when really nice brands don't go for very much resale all right so a few more shorts that I picked up I got some blank NYC shorts these um, are the Essex classic cutoff short um, so hopefully the style is still popular next summer got those and then I got some more kind of distressed Joe's cutoffs as well and these are um, Phoebe wash but I don't have the style so those were both in good condition so we'll save those for the summer unless I run out of things to list 
Okay, so the next item went through the skirts as well. Um, got this, it's Sea Wonder. Um, I think I've had one top that was actually out of my closet that I had sold on Poshmark last year. Um, but this was new. Um, and I thought it was cute, so I thought I'd give it a try. These are actually can buttons can be unbuttoned there, so I don't know much about Sea Wonder. I don't know, is that a brand that you would pick up? Let me know in the comments below. Okay. So this stuff is not in order, I'm sorry about that. This was the top that I got to go with my pajama shorts. Life is good sleep. So not good resale, but good to lounge in. And the next item is a jacket that I actually saw last week at Goodwill and didn't pick it up. And then when I was looking at the comps again, they were pretty good, 35, 40 uh, for the same jacket. So it was there today, so picked that up. Kenzie size small. So a nice little jacket. Don't know the style of that. I can't remember when I looked it up, but hoping to get 35, 30 for that. Oh, and also I did calculate I got 26 items at Goodwill today for an average price of $239. So again, they were, um, my Goodwill just has blanket pricing, they call it. And so it's half off of that. So not as good a deal as you could get some places, but pretty good. So these are Lululemon I got. One legging, I always go the leggings first. Size 12. And I still have to look up the style on these, but um, they look like m mid to high rise. And then they have the detail here on the side. So if you know the name of this style, Otherwise, I'll look on Lulu Fanatics. Um, pretty good condition, some somewhere. But I didn't want to pass up on those. All right, so these are the two pieces I thought maybe um, vintage. So you can let me know what you think. Um, they're bum equipment shorts pretty fun i used to wear bum equipment hoodies and stuff when i was in school these are size 11 12 which i don't know is that juniors or 11 12 women's not sure i can't remember did we look the information up on these no, so we, we still have to do research on these, but they're really fun. I actually found another pair, um, I can't remember the brand, but they were like red and black and then opposite in the back. And my friend was there and they weren't as in as good a condition as I like to pick up, so I gave them to her and she was happy. So we'll see which one sells first. I'm thinking they were probably all from the same person. Um, they were all together. These are Bum Equipment, white. Just like hardly even look like they've been worn. So fun. I'm excited to see what happens with those. Let me know if you know anything about vintage bum equipment or 90s bum equipment. All right, the next thing is Gap. These are a 10 tall girlfriend chino. And they are kind of like a acid wash, stone wash, but like a pant. Um, those are kind of cute. Didn't see too many for sale on Poshmark. One that was a different color or two maybe. 
And I think they went for pretty good prices, so we'll see how those do. Okay, and this next brand is one that I've been wanting to pick up because I hear other resellers talk about it. But whenever I look up comps, they're just not that great. I usually like my comps to be a little bit higher. So I don't know, I have mixed feelings. I kind of just want one of these in my closet and these were in really good condition. Um, and not a top, usually I find tops, but these are some little wide leg pants here and the brand is Beach Lunch Lounge. Can you see that? So I don't know, kind of wondering about this brand. I think these are really cute. In fact, they're not my size, but if they were, I'd wear them. Okay, the next piece <laughs> is uh, anthropo sold at Anthropology. It's Rohit Gandhi Rahul Hana, Kana, medium. So I had never heard of this brand, um, but looked it up and saw that Anthropology sold it. It's 100% silk, that's why I originally picked it up and looked pretty cute. Um, but not sure, they might not sell that well. Might not get as what, what I thought out of it, but hopefully I'll be able to sell it if I price it lower than the ones that are available. Really beautiful piece with a little hole right there. So sad when you don't see that at the thrift store. All right, another interesting piece. I have never picked up this brand either. La Costa, um, and it has the alligator on here, La Costa. I don't think they typically do too well, but this was really cute and different and good condition. So I thought maybe someone would like that one. We'll see how it does. All right. Sorry for the big noise. Okay, and so just picked up a classic piece, Eddie Bauer for about 20. Don't usually pick up any hour, but this was a, a nice piece, like new condition. So I thought I'd see how it does. And then the very last piece, um, it's Thresher. I don't know. Thresher. This actually sells for good money on Poshmark. So, uh, my husband actually found this for me, Thrasher, um, San Francisco. It is a size large, this is women's, women's, um, if you're looking for this jacket, you can message me, comment down below, uh, um, it'll go on Poshmark and eBay, but Seems like a popular jacket, so excited to see how that will do. Do you remember what it sold for? Like 50. So nice. And that is all. So picked up some new brands, some that I've been wondering about. Um, didn't really find a lot of stuff that I maybe usually pick up, but I just want to take advantage of the half off sale at Goodwill. So thank you for joining me. Let me know if you enjoyed my video. Um, you can subscribe down below. I'd really appreciate it. I'm trying to grow my channel and give me a thumbs up. And also you can leave uh, some comments below if you have any advice um, that you have for my channel or maybe some videos you'd like to see. Uh, again, I'm from Montana. I don't know if you watch any other YouTubers from Montana and um, I appreciate your support so we will see you next time. Bye.